Hi, this is Dare to Do Motivation, and in this video, I will give you 7 tips how to be a successful student and how to finish your degree. Do you want to be successful? Do you want to have a fulfilling life and live the way that you have always wanted? Are you a student who is struggling? If so, then this is the video for you. We'll talk about overcoming adversity and how that is necessary for achieving your goals. Especially as a student, you will face many obstacles, or shall we rather say, distractions. Let's make clear, first of all, why you are studying the subject that you are learning right now. Was it your wish to choose that particular subject? Or maybe your parents wanted you to become a doctor or a lawyer? Or maybe all of your friends are enrolled in the same curriculum as you? Maybe the subject doesn't interest you, but you can see yourself becoming financially successful once you've got your specific degree. But you see, none of your reasons is bad or good per se. Most of us love our parents, so it is not bad wanting to make them happy. Just beware that your life is yours, and in the end, if you are unhappy with the subject you studied, and your parents are not around anymore one day, who can you blame? Then, my friend, you can only blame yourself. If it was your wish and decision to study your subject, then it is the ultimate reason to pursue. Just don't give up, as soon as it becomes a little bit hard. Even if you've only chosen your subject just because all of your friends study the same, it is not bad. It just shows that you are a social person who loves their friends. But again, beware that one day maybe you will all have families and won't see each other nearly as much as you are doing now. And again, you will have no one to blame besides yourself if you are unhappy. So you see, we can discuss if your motive to your particular direction of study is good or bad all day long. But the main thing is that you finish your studies. Just because you finished university, it doesn't mean that you will be stuck with that subject for the rest of your life. Maybe you love the subject right now, but you will grow to hate it in 20 years and don't want any of it anymore. Vice versa, maybe you hate your studies now, but you will find out that you are actually quite good at it and that you can make a nice living and feed your family from your occupation. So we see that winners can become losers and losers can become winners. The thing is that you shouldn't waste two years of your life on a subject and then quit, although you're halfway there and then start another subject and quit again, etc. You are still young. It is normal to make bad choices. But still, time is moving on. And one day, you will be 35. It is better to have a good paying occupation you don't like than working a job that pays minimum wage just because you were lazy or undecisive in your 20s. One thing is for sure. Old age comes sooner than you think. So be prepared. Have money on the side. Make sure you have a pension and that you can live with dignity once you're over 60. Successful students or people are not perfect. They have bad days. They make mistakes. And sometimes they might feel like giving up. But then something will come along that reminds them why it is worth fighting for. There is always hope in this world, and your life has more value than you know. So if you're feeling discouraged or stuck right now, don't worry, because that feeling will pass. If you don't feel like studying, still do it and bite through the cord of procrastination. When you are a student, 
There are distractions, relationships, parties, feeling lost or lonely, being depressed, or having to work a lot to support yourself during uni. It is absolutely normal to feel depressed at that age and at that stage of your life, because often the structure you found as a kid at home is gone and you are on your own to table up your routine and to build a future. So don't despair and just push through. Also, numerous studies have shown that human growth hormone levels drastically drop when we are in our early 20s, leaving us in a hormonal battle and lack of HGA often leads to depression or a feeling of loneliness. We've all been there, so it is nothing to be ashamed of. Just make sure you see the big picture and see life as a roller coaster. It goes up and sometimes it goes down. But make sure you don't get stuck. Always keep on going. Don't hold your breath and don't get lost. Don't let things like heartbreak or failures, fights and bad times throw you off your lane. So first of all know why you are studying. Whatever the reason, be honest to yourself. Because there is no shame in any of the reasons we mentioned above. And get on with it. There will be hard exams, there will be tests, which you have to repeat three times to pass. There will be semesters, which you will have to repeat. But that is okay. If you learn just a couple of hours, but every day, you will be fine. Just keep your structure, make a routine and stick to it as if you were a professional athlete. So I'll repeat, first of all know why you are studying, be honest to yourself and all the reasons are okay. There will be hard exams which you will fail sometimes and that's okay. And no, your life doesn't end once you're 35. Actually it is just getting started properly. So if you are making a life plan, just make sure to account for plus 35 years. And that just because you are studying, for instance, medicine right now, it doesn't mean that you will work as a doctor all of your life. You can open up a business, you can open up a restaurant, you can travel the world and help out poor people with some free doctor's work. No matter what you study, the possibilities are endless. And just because you have a degree, it won't mean that you will earn a lot. And just because you don't have a degree, it doesn't mean you will be poor all your life. The thing is that people that stick through with things they started are happier than aimless drifters in life who get distracted by women and wine, or men and wine for that matter. So to summarize, these are Dare to Do Motivations tips for students. Number one, know why you are studying. Number two, get structure in your studies and free time. Number three, don't hold your breath when you are depressed or sad. Push through the pain, even if it is hard. And you will see, after the rainy season, the sun always reappears. Number four, if you have already completed a third of your studies, then finish it and get that degree. Number five, life is long. And one day, when you are old and gray, you will laugh at some of the problems you are facing today. So chill and plan for a long life. Number six, a little bit of work every day will get you far in the long run. Doesn't matter if it's your studies or your workout routine or your relationships. A little bit every day. Number seven, enjoy studying. Enjoy your spare time. Enjoy your parties because you are only young once. This is Dare to Do Motivation. Tips for studying. Thank you so much for watching. And stay blessed.